In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions that aspiring quantity surveyors often face. Each question will be accompanied by insightful answers, helping candidates prepare effectively for their upcoming interviews. Understanding these key questions can significantly enhance your confidence and performance during the interview process. Join us as we break down essential topics relevant to quantity surveying roles in the construction industry. 1. What motivated you to pursue a career in quantity surveying? My interest in quantity surveying stemmed from a passion for both construction and finance. I was drawn to the unique blend of technical skills and financial acumen required in this field. The opportunity to work on diverse projects and contribute to their success by managing costs and resources excited me. Additionally, I appreciate the analytical challenges involved in estimating costs and value engineering, which allow me to solve complex problems creatively. Being part of a team that constructs lasting structures and impacts communities also fuels my motivation in this rewarding profession. 2. Can you explain the key responsibilities of a quantity surveyor on a construction project? A quantity surveyor plays a vital role in managing costs and ensuring financial viability throughout the construction project. Key responsibilities include preparing detailed cost estimates, conducting cost analyses, and monitoring expenditures against budgets. They are involved in tendering processes, evaluating bids, and negotiating contracts. Additionally, quantity surveyors manage project finances by assessing variations, ensuring compliance with regulations, and maintaining accurate records. They also collaborate closely with architects, engineers, and other stakeholders to ensure that projects are completed on time and within budget, while providing advice on cost-effective solutions. 3. What software tools do you commonly use in your work as a quantity surveyor? In my work as a quantity surveyor, I commonly use software tools such as AutoCAD for drafting and design, Microsoft Excel for cost estimation and data analysis, and CostEx for measuring and pricing quantities. Primavera P6 is often utilized for project scheduling and management. Additionally, I rely on Bluebeam for document control and collaboration. These tools help streamline processes, enhance accuracy in cost management, and facilitate communication between all stakeholders involved in a construction project. 4. How do you ensure accuracy when preparing cost estimates for a project? Ensuring accuracy in cost estimates involves a systematic approach. I begin by gathering detailed project specifications and consulting historical data from similar projects. Using sophisticated software tools enhances precision by automating calculations and reducing human error. I also perform a thorough review of all assumptions and quantities. Engaging in collaboration with team members ensures that all perspectives are considered, and incorporating contingency allowances helps address uncertainties. Regularly updating estimates based on market trends and supplier quotes is critical for maintaining accuracy throughout the project's lifecycle. 5. Describe your experience with preparing and analyzing bills of quantities. Preparing and analyzing bills of quantities, BOQ, is a critical aspect of my role as a quantity surveyor. I have extensive experience in breaking down project specifications into measurable units, ensuring accuracy and clarity in each item listed. My approach involves meticulous attention to detail, verifying quantities against drawings and specifications, and maintaining a comprehensive database of rates. I also collaborate closely with project teams to address any discrepancies. Analyzing BOQS allows me to assess cost implications and inform procurement strategies effectively, contributing to successful project outcomes. 6. How do you stay updated on changes in construction costs and market trends? Staying updated on changes in construction costs and market trends involves several strategies. Regularly attending industry conferences and workshops helps in networking with peers and gaining insights into emerging trends. Subscribing to industry publications, newsletters, and online platforms provides timely information on market fluctuations. Engaging in professional organizations and forums allows for exchanging experiences and best practices. Additionally, collaborating with suppliers and contractors can offer first-hand knowledge of cost changes and innovations in materials and techniques. Continuous learning through relevant courses also enhances expertise in cost management. 7. What methods do you use to forecast and control project costs? When forecasting and controlling project costs, I utilize a combination of historical data analysis, industry benchmarks, and detailed cost breakdown structures. I start by analyzing similar past projects to establish baseline costs. Utilizing software tools for budgeting and tracking, I ensure real-time monitoring of expenditures. Regular financial reviews and variance analysis help identify potential overruns early on. Collaboration with project teams enables proactive adjustments to keep costs within budget. I also implement contingency planning to address unexpected expenses, maintaining financial discipline throughout the project lifecycle. 8. Can you explain the process of preparing tender documents? 
Preparing tender documents involves several key steps. Initially, a thorough understanding of the project scope and requirements is essential. Next, relevant information, such as drawings and specifications, is gathered to create a comprehensive document. A bill of quantities may be included, detailing the work required, materials, and labor. Clear instructions regarding submission deadlines and evaluation criteria must be outlined. Lastly, the documents should be reviewed for accuracy and completeness before distribution to potential contractors. This process ensures clarity and helps in obtaining competitive bids aligned with project expectations. 9. How do you handle disputes or conflicts related to project costs or contracts? Handling disputes or conflicts related to project costs or contracts requires a structured approach. First, I focus on open communication with all parties involved to understand their perspectives. This helps in identifying the root cause of the dispute. Next, I review contract documents and project records meticulously to ensure clarity on obligations and rights. If informal discussions do not resolve the issue, I may suggest mediation as a collaborative way to reach an agreement. Ultimately, maintaining professionalism and focusing on finding a mutually beneficial solution is crucial in these situations. 10. What strategies do you employ to minimize cost overruns on a project? Effective strategies to minimize cost overruns include thorough planning and diligent budget management. It's essential to conduct detailed cost estimates and use reliable software tools for tracking expenses. Regular monitoring of project progress against the budget helps identify potential issues early. Engaging in proactive communication with all stakeholders ensures alignment and swift resolution of any emerging conflicts. Implementing a robust change management process allows for control over variations, while frequent reviews and audits can help maintain financial discipline throughout the project lifecycle. 11. How do you approach value engineering in your role as a quantity surveyor? Value engineering is a systematic method aimed at improving the value of a project by optimizing its functions while minimizing costs. In my role as a quantity surveyor, I start by identifying essential project functions and assessing their costs. Collaborating with the design team, I explore alternative materials and methods that can enhance performance without compromising quality. I also analyze lifecycle costs to ensure that savings do not result in higher long-term expenses. Engaging stakeholders throughout the process ensures that all perspectives are considered, leading to well-informed decisions that benefit the project. 12. Describe your experience with contract administration and management. Contract administration and management are critical components of my role as a quantity surveyor. I have successfully managed various contracts by ensuring compliance with legal obligations and project specifications. My experience includes reviewing contract documents, coordinating with stakeholders, and monitoring contract performance. I focus on maintaining clear communication channels to address any issues promptly. Additionally, I have implemented systematic processes for tracking contract changes and managing variations, which has helped in minimizing disputes and ensuring that projects remain on track and within budget. 13. How do you ensure compliance with relevant building codes and regulations in your work? Ensuring compliance with relevant building codes and regulations involves thorough research and understanding of local laws and standards applicable to each project. I begin by reviewing the specific codes that govern the type of construction, which includes zoning laws, safety regulations, and environmental guidelines. Regular consultations with regulatory bodies and industry experts help clarify any ambiguities. Additionally, I conduct periodic audits during the project lifecycle to verify adherence, and I incorporate compliance checks into project timelines to ensure all aspects are addressed before completion. 14. What techniques do you use to measure and value completed work on site? To measure and value completed work on site, I frequently utilize techniques like the use of measurement tools, surveys, and site visits. I employ digital tools such as Building Information Modeling, BIM, to gather precise data on completed work. Regularly updating progress against the planned schedule helps assess the value of work done. I also collaborate with site managers and foremen to confirm quantities and quality standards. This ensures accurate valuation according to contract terms and industry standards, enabling effective cost control and project management. 15. How do you collaborate with other professionals like architects and engineers on a project? Collaboration with architects and engineers is vital in ensuring project success. Regular meetings and open communication channels foster a team environment where all parties can share insights and address challenges. I actively participate in design reviews and provide input on cost implications, helping the team understand financial constraints. Utilizing collaborative software tools enhances coordination, allowing real-time updates and document sharing. Building strong relationships based on trust and respect enables us to work together towards common project goals, ensuring that design and budget align effectively.
16. Can you explain the concept of life cycle costing and its importance in construction projects? Life cycle costing, LCC, is an approach that considers all costs associated with the life of a project, including initial construction, operation, maintenance, and disposal. This method enables stakeholders to evaluate the total financial impact of a project over time, rather than just upfront costs. By analyzing these costs, decision makers can identify more sustainable options and optimize resource allocation. LCC helps in making informed choices, ensuring long-term value, and improving project feasibility, ultimately contributing to more efficient budget management and project success. 17. How do you handle variations or changes to the original scope of work? Handling variations requires a systematic approach. First, I assess the impact of the proposed change on the project's cost, schedule, and quality. Communication with all stakeholders is essential. I ensure everyone understands the reason for the change. I document all variations carefully, including the rationale and any associated costs. This documentation serves as a reference for negotiations and helps maintain transparency. After thorough evaluation, I submit a variation order for approval, ensuring that all parties agree before proceeding with the change to mitigate disputes later. 18. What risk management strategies do you employ in your quantity surveying practice? In my quantity surveying practice, I employ various risk management strategies to mitigate potential issues. First, I conduct thorough risk assessments during the planning phase, identifying possible risks related to costs, timelines, and resource availability. I prioritize these risks based on their potential impact and likelihood. Additionally, I develop contingency plans and allocate reserves to address identified risks. Regular monitoring and communication with project stakeholders help ensure that emerging risks are promptly addressed. I also encourage a proactive approach to risk management by fostering a culture of transparency and collaboration among team members. 19. How do you approach sustainable construction practices in your cost planning? Sustainable construction practices are integral to my cost planning approach. I prioritize materials that are environmentally friendly and promote energy efficiency. This involves assessing life cycle costs to evaluate long-term savings from sustainable choices. Collaborating with project teams, I incorporate sustainability goals into budgets, ensuring that they align with client expectations. I also conduct value engineering sessions to identify cost-effective sustainable alternatives. Staying informed about green building certifications enables me to advise clients on potential incentives and cost savings associated with sustainable practices. 20. Describe a challenging project you worked on and how you overcame the difficulties. One challenging project involved a large-scale commercial development that faced significant delays due to unforeseen site conditions. To address this, I initiated a thorough risk assessment and collaborated closely with the project team to identify alternative solutions. By renegotiating timelines with contractors and reallocating resources, we managed to keep costs under control. Regular communication with stakeholders ensured everyone was aligned on new schedules and expectations, which helped to restore confidence in the project's success. This experience reinforced the importance of adaptability and proactive problem-solving in quantity surveying. 21. How do you ensure effective communication with clients and project stakeholders? Effective communication with clients and project stakeholders is crucial for successful project delivery. I prioritize regular updates through scheduled meetings and progress reports, ensuring transparency and alignment on project goals. Active listening is key. I make sure to understand concerns and feedback, fostering a collaborative environment. Additionally, I utilize various communication tools, such as emails, project management software, and video conferencing, to maintain clear and consistent dialogue. This approach not only builds trust but also enables quick resolution of issues as they arise. 22. What methods do you use to analyze and compare bids from contractors? When analyzing and comparing bids from contractors, I employ a structured approach. First, I ensure that all bids are submitted in the same format for easy comparison. I evaluate each bid against the project specifications, checking for completeness and compliance. Next, I assess the cost breakdowns, focusing on unit rates for labor, materials, and overheads. I also consider the contractor's experience, references, and reputation. Finally, I may conduct a value analysis to identify any additional value offered by contractors beyond just cost, such as innovative approaches or timelines. This holistic assessment aids in making informed decisions. 23. How do you stay organized when managing multiple projects simultaneously? Staying organized while managing multiple projects involves several strategies. First, I prioritize tasks using a project management tool, which helps me track deadlines and milestones for each project. 
I create a detailed schedule that outlines key deliverables and allocate specific time slots for each task. Regularly updating a centralized document for all projects ensures I have a clear overview. Effective communication with team members is essential, as it helps streamline workflows and address issues promptly. Lastly, I set aside time for weekly reviews to assess progress and adjust priorities as necessary. 24. Can you explain the importance of cash flow forecasting in construction projects? Cash flow forecasting is crucial in construction projects as it helps ensure that funds are available when needed. By predicting cash inflows and outflows, quantity surveyors can identify potential shortfalls and plan accordingly. This process allows for timely payments to subcontractors and suppliers, which helps maintain project momentum. Accurate cash flow management also enables stakeholders to make informed decisions regarding project financing and resource allocation. Ultimately, effective cash flow forecasting minimizes financial risks and supports the successful completion of construction projects. 25. How do you incorporate new technologies or methodologies into your quantity surveying practice? Incorporating new technologies and methodologies into quantity surveying involves continuous learning and adaptation. I actively participate in professional development workshops and online courses to stay abreast of advancements. I assess the potential benefits of innovative tools, such as building information modeling, BIM, and cost management software, to enhance efficiency. By collaborating with technology providers, I ensure that these tools align with project needs. Implementing pilot projects allows me to test new methodologies, gathering feedback to refine processes and improve accuracy in cost estimation and project management. In this video, we have explored the top 25 interview questions and answers for quantity surveyors, providing you with valuable insights to help you prepare effectively for your next interview. Understanding these questions not only boosts your confidence but also equips you with the knowledge to showcase your expertise in the field. We hope this information proves beneficial in your career journey. If you found this content helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable resources and tips. Thank you for watching.